<laughs> I know. I was trying to think of, like, the last time that, like, we took pictures. And, like, the last one I can find is when we took Logan and Hannah to the zoo. Or to, not to the zoo, but do you remember that? Northwest. Northwest. Track? Yeah. Yeah. That's the last one I can find of, like, me and Logan. And then, like, I have one of, like, when Logan, I was watching Logan one time, and we were sleep. he was sleeping, and I faked slept so I could take a picture. <laughs> so cute! He was so tiny! He was just he was, was a little baby. <laughs> just snuggled right here! So I take a picture. <laughs> and that was it. So, yeah, there's no recent pictures of us at all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So <laughs> I'm Brooklyn. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. <laughs> this is my sister Brooklyn. She goes to school a couple hours away from here, so she couldn't be here to make a video, but I wanted to include her because um we have a the really most awesome. important. <laughs> yeah, she's the most important. And uh we have a really awesome relationship and um where Brooklyn's the funniest person I know, and, and she's also the person that, like, judges me the least um, and what I do. And um, if I want to go get Dairy Queen at 10 o'clock at night, Brooklyn's, like, right there with me. She's she's totally game for it. So um, I have a couple pictures we're going to talk about. And the one thing that I think with Brooklyn and I that I've always been sad that we've never been able to do is, like, you and I have never been able to, like, shop at the same store or, like, I always felt bad. Sure, clothes. Clothes, like, when you were, you know, like, when you were in, like, high school and stuff, like, you could never come raid my closet, because obviously I have better clothes than you, and, <laughs> and I could never go raid your closet, like, you and I can't even fit into the same shoes, because my feet are too wide, um, yeah. and that always sucked, and, um, and, like, I don't know if, and then, like, when you and I go shopping together, how I always hand you clothes that I think are cute, that you usually think are really ugly, and um, I always want you to try them on for me because I would never buy them and I can't, but um, but I want to see what they look like on. And I don't know if you know this, but when we went on our trip to spring break, um, we were in that one of the stores in the outlet malls and it was where you got that like blue dress at. And I was holding your dresses outside of the fitting room and a lady came up to me and asked me if I wanted a fitting room. And I was like... I remember you telling me that. Uh, I was like... <laughs> No, I was like, I'm not, I, like, people don't get it. Like, I'm not an idiot. I know, I know I don't fit into these clothes. Like, I get it. Um, and it was just like, you don't need to pity offer me a fitting room. That's rude. Yeah. So, that's, those are some. I know you don't do emotions, but <laughs> I wanted, to, since you're so stressed out, this is the perfect time. Um, I wanted to ask you, like, how you think that my and like for me like it's not even being the size necessarily I just want to be healthy and obviously in this world you're not gonna be healthy with the size so for yeah me, it's just about being healthy but I want to ask you in like ways that you think that my weight or size has hindered me like well I mean I like I don't know I definitely think it has hindered you and like my first thought is kind of like the dating world like yeah I know that you are I mean, you know that you said, like, if I wanted to, you know, run I, down to a local bar and uh, whatever. I know that you I know can find I mean? someone to have a one night stand with. I don't, but yeah. yeah. No, I know. Um, I don't want that. I want the relationship, but I can't find anyone who wants that. Yeah. And, like, I'm always, I guess, you know how if, I, if I'm dating somebody, you kind of look at them as a little brother. I guess when, if you were dating somebody, I would kind of see him as an, a big brother. What if I so how you want the little or older sister? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'd like to see mom's face when you tell her you're a lesbian, though. <laughs> Not a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Ever gonna happen? Um, you know, I, <clears throat> I, I know you know this, but I think it's just become apparent. Like when we go into stores and people look, it's just kind of like. I get really defensive about it. I just want to be like, what are you looking at? <laughs> Don't you ever like, see a fat girl walk into a store? 
Yeah, and like you can you know you can make jokes all you like I can make jokes all you want. You always tell me that, and you can make jokes all you want, but like, you know, it still hurts me to see people like judge you about it. And um, you know, people have made comments to me in the past, and it's just kind of like you know you don't really know what to say when people are like, "Wow, your sister, she's overweight." It's like, what she is? Like, <laughs> no, no, oh, and. It's frustrating to see you go through it, and, you know, I don't know how to help, and I know that you have said, like, if I, if I, if I just got all the weight taken away from me, it wouldn't help, because I still have this love for food, and it's just kind of like, you know, it's an internal struggle, and I know that I struggle with it, and it's just kind of like, nobody can help you but yourself, so I guess, like, I just am waiting for you to wake up and, like, want to be here for my wedding, and, you know, (laughs) you know like you know you've taken care of me since I was a baby and you know when we've gone through things you've always been there to take care of everything and I just you know after spring break and the instances of how the past you know you weren't there I don't I don't know what would we have done I just need you, I need you to be there to take care of me. (laughs) Call it selfish, but... This is all really about you. (laughs) (laughs) I just need you to be there to help me to get through mom and dad and, you know, all my stresses because you are the one person I can always count on and... You know, you make me see things in such a different way, but I just, like, I want you to be around, and I want, I want you and I to be able to share clothes and, you know, become closer, and I am so supportive of this. You know, like, I think with you starting it and getting a healthier lifestyle, I feel like it would motivate me, too, you know, especially in the summer, like, I don't know if you know this, but. I'm going to be hanging out with you a lot during the summer because <laughs> friends are going to be up here in Moscow or, you know, wherever they live, and I will be at home. And so I just, like, want you to realize that I've never come up to you, come to you and asked you, like, could you please just lose the weight, you know? Um, but I, I've never tried to point it out or talk about it with you because I was just scared of like what you were going to say and and I know the struggles you've had with it but I'm asking you as a sister you know I need you and I know I don't tell you that all the time but I you know I need you there for me and I you know you're my best friend and I love you with all my heart and if you are not around I'm, my heart is going to be broken. You know? I've never heard you that deep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. But I love you, and, you know, I, I realize this is going to be a struggle, and you're going to want to give up, and, you know, like you always tell me, like, just fight through it, and you'll get through it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, I am at school right now, and I just thought I'd show you guys a little bit of the daily struggles I go through with my weight and going to school. Um, this is one of the buildings my classes is in. Um, my classes are upstairs, up these stairs. Um, there's an elevator over there. Um, I don't go up the stairs. It's probably quicker, it's probably faster, but I definitely don't go upstairs because I don't want to be the big girl sitting in a classroom, hot and sweaty, and out of breath from going up the stairs. So we're going to go take the elevator upstairs and I'll show you what um, going into a classroom is like and how I struggle with that.